Hey friends, welcome to Essentially Jesse. Today I have a really fun, expensive giveaway with you guys and an incredible box of goodies to go through. So let's get to it. So, Merry Christmas. This is part of my 12 days of Christmas giveaways and your next giveaway is inside this box along with a lot of other fun things to discover together. Uh, clearly this box opens up and I'm gonna have to get rid of some of this stuff. So I'll be right back. So we are back and I was so excited. I know I say I'm so excited, but I am so excited. This is by Martine Mikaleff. It's the Olfactive Legends. They had pre-orders only for this back in October and I said, getting that for my birthday for myself. So I did. They still have this on the website. The price has gone up since they had the original launch. So I got this at a good discount. And for all the things that are in this box, oh my stars. So it opens up, this is extremely heavy too. Um, so it opens up like this and it has this wall of and some of these i have opened already and some of them i haven't i wanted to be able to show you guys the full packaging and all the things and then this side opens up and it is just i'm not even sure how i'm going to shoot this i just wanted to show you the scope of how huge this is it is massive it is a massive amount of fragrances products things that are by martine mikaleff and i wanted to share this experience with you guys because this is the biggest bestest most awesome fragrance anything that i've ever received um mikaleff in no way is sponsoring this video this is just me and my money buying my own birthday gift and one of these compartments has the giveaway for today so i'm gonna move this back over it is so massive okay so these go by year um this is just incredible it really it is okay so each of the little drawers opens like this like i said some of these i've opened some of them i have not so let's open it up and see what's inside this is going to be a longer video and i'm just really sorry Okay, this is Sashka. Sashka. This is, um, and I would love to read you these little cards, but they're in French. And although I took French, okay. So on the back side, it's English. Um, so this first one is 1996, and it says it was a great year for Martine Mikaleff and Jeffrey Neon, Neon, um, who founded their family as well as their perfume company, um, and the the duo created this fragrance um so this was their very first fragrance it's in the shape of an egg and it's a delicate floral aldehyde um this is beautiful okay i'm gonna spray this i have to spray it somewhere okay so okay and it says well sashka for him so this is just Sashka, so I assume that this is for her, um, is a delicate floral aldehyde. So here we are. I'm gonna make this as snappy as possible, guys, but this is just something to behold. Now, some of these I haven't opened yet, so maybe I should stop and open them all up. So all of them come wrapped in this beautiful gold foil. They have a little card behind them. This is 2001. This is Royal Rose Oud gorgeous anyway i'm just gonna go through and unwrap all the ones that i haven't unwrapped yet and i'll be right back we are back i just finished unpackaging all the rest of these i had unpackaged almost all of them anyway okay so we started 1996 we're going to 1997 this is so they all come with this card this one just happened to come with this really pretty i think i'm gonna hang it on my christmas tree like an ornament um this is pomebos pomebs um masterful driven by incredible energy crystal bottles swarovskis it's written almost as if she wrote it in her like handwriting um panache and all the rich richness of the citrus fruits okay so it's palmellos okay just look like a bee okay 
Oh, okay, that is so good. Very citrusy, that's 1997. I'm gonna try to go through these kind of quickly because there's a lot of them, all my stores. Okay, this one is watch. I've been dying to get my hands on this. This actually comes with a little watch keychain. There are so many little goodies in here. Um, okay. Ooh, and it has Swarovski crystals on it, on the cap. Oh, my stars. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm taking, I'm putting that on my tray this week. <laughs> taking it with me. Um, next is Gardenia. I already sprayed this whenever I was getting it out. I usually don't like Gardenia fragrances, although I do love Gardenias. Um, this one is beautiful, masterfully blended, especially for something that was created in 1999. Now we're moving on to the 2000s. This is Oud or Aoud. It's A-O-U-D. This is going to be more of a men's targeted fragrance. You can tell by the packaging. Most of their ouds are very strong because they are really authentic ouds. Yeah, it's really stout. That is a man's man. <laughs> Oud. Okay, 2001. We have Royal Rose Oud. Ooh, okay. I already smelled this one. A couple of these I smelled, but when you open the compartments, okay, this is a rose oud, but not like, this is so, okay, that is really good. The rose and the oud is blended exquisitely together. It's not too sweet, and it's not like, you know how, um, oh, what do you call it? When you smell oud bouquet, it is overwhelmingly sweet because of that praline note. This rose oud is not. Okay, 2002, moving on quickly, is, I'm sorry. Like I said, this is all in French and I can't read it. Okay, this is hand-painted, um, the bottles of the Four Seasons. Wow, okay, this is, these are just beautiful. Okay, so this is, I don't know which one of the Four Seasons, or maybe that's all Four Seasons in one. I'm not sure how that works. Um, four Seasons Collection Reveal the Quintessence. Oh, that is so good. It's like a light floral. It's beautiful. Okay, moving on. This is like the greatest gift ever. And I gave it to myself. Okay, this is patchouli. I think that these, I don't know, this is in the same type of bottle as Watch is. I just wanna kinda leave that out there because it looks pretty. Um, smell the metal. Okay, that's patchouli. That's good. That's very good. Um, it is very stout. So what I've noticed about Ylang and Gold and Ylang and Gold Nectar, they were the only two full bottles that I had before I purchased this and they don't last like a super amount. This is Gaiac, so it's Gaiac wood. Um, oh, okay, that is nice. These are beautiful. So Martine Mikleff was an artist first. So all of these are going to be works of art. Jesse. Okay, moving on, 2005. Where were you in 2005? Drop me that in the comment section below because this is a lot of years of fragrance. It is incredible. Okay, this is Ananda. This is one of their more popular ones. But then some of them come with, this is a body lotion. So I don't know if this is the body lotion for Ananda. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Wow. That is great. So this is obviously great for travel. Um, what a beautiful fragrance in a beautiful bottle. I just, I love, 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 love the presentation on these fragrances. Okay. So we've been through all of these. Now we're moving on to 2006. This is Avant Garde. This is a men's targeted fragrance launched in 2006 and it is bashing probably the best way to describe it. Okay, and then in 2007, they launched Amir. And this is a very middle, it has a very Middle Eastern flair to it. It has some oud in it. Um, it is nice if you are interested in Middle Eastern fragrances, which I love Middle Eastern fragrances, then check out Amir. It starts with an E instead of an A. Okay, 2008 is the, turning it over, turning it over. Um, 2008 is when they released Royal Muscat. Now, while this looks very similar to um, Ylang and Gold, you'll notice that there are no like gold flecks in there, but the packaging is very similar and stunning. 
Um, I'm going to spray this on me because I haven't sprayed it yet and I want to smell it and get a feel for it. Um, oh, that's nice. Okay. That's very musky. So that was 2008 Royal Muscat. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Okay. Then next up 2009, this is, uh, I sprayed this. Okay. So this is Jeffrey's perfume. He says it's my perfume. There's, I'm just reading the card that's in the middle here. Um, and it is beautiful. It's delicious floral gourmands and caramel. This is a man's fragrance, but it is really nice. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. This is a more masculine fragrance, but I would honestly say that this leans a little more unisex. That is gorgeous. These bottles are, oh, let me show you. See the uniqueness of this bottle is it's thinner on this side and then this side it's larger, thicker, however you want to say that. So the bottles and the creation and the artwork behind these is just extravagant. Okay. Okay. All right. Next up is Mon Parfum Gold, and then the rest of it's in fridge. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, and same with this one. This has the same bottle shape, but it's all gold. I will say you have to be careful to get the caps on. Um, you can see through the bottle is the juice is translucent right here, but the rest of it is gold. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, on to 2011. Okay, this is the fragrance that I've been dying to get my hands on since I bought Ylang and Gold Nectar. So I bought Ylang and Gold first, and then I purchased Ylang and Gold Nectar. And my next purchase was this Jim Dandy, and I just never bought it. So this is Mikalev Note Vanille, or Vanille. Um, it is, oh, I already turned this one around. <sighs> It's the best vanilla I've probably ever smelled in my life. So if you don't have this one, just go pick it up. If you like vanillas, um, it's gorgeous. It's sweet. It's beautiful. Let me see. Okay, I am holding 2012 hostage until the very end because 2012 contains my giveaway. So I'll just stick it right here so you guys can look at it. 2000. 13 okay i unwrapped this one while ago delish oh it smells so clean what is this this is osaido osaido <laughs> um it's spelled o-s-a-i-t-o anyway i do not speak french clearly anyway it's in the black bottle with the gray gorgeous freshy men's fragrance Wonderful. Okay, two more left on this side. Okay, this I was a little confused by. It's almost like a ponytail holder. Um, and sorry, I have to, some of these are like vacuumed in here. This is 2014. This is Royal Vintage. And it does smell vintage, I will say that. All of these, the bottles are works of art. The fragrances are works of art. I am really struggling. This is just massive okay and then here is okay here is 2015 so this is where we got into perfume extreme and then it comes with a bath and shower gel i cannot wait to use these on trips okay then we get to so this is basically like a walk through their history of fragrance so then 2006 is another drawer so in 2006 we get um the 20th anniversary fragrance this is the osaito osaicio this is the travel spray for that and then this is the i'm not sure i think this might be a travel spray for this other one it's just crazy these are um Features original reptile print. Okay, as a symbol. So this is the original of this one, the 20th year or year 20 Mika Leff, um anniversary. So cool. Okay, 
let's see, 2016, 2017. Okay, here we get a travel. Okay, this is from the Love Collection. I think these bottles are gorgeous. I get a travel atomizer of the Secrets of Love Collection and it doesn't say which one it is. Oh, it's spiritual. Okay, cool. And that's unisex. And then I also got an Ananda Pure Hand Gel. So I'm wondering if this is, um, oh yeah, this is hand sanitizer. I'm gonna leave that out. <laughs> um, cause we all need hand sanitizer. Okay. And then, what am I? 2020. Okay. 2020 had a lot going on. <laughs> Um, oh, I skipped 2018, 2019. Okay, so these are full size travel atomizers of the um, nectar. So the nectar Ananda, the nectar Pure Extreme, the nectar um, Ylang and Gold nectar, and the Royal Muscat nectar. It's just so crazy to me because it's almost like they hand wrote on each of these in gold. It's beautiful. Okay, and then it came with a little pouch. It also came with a shampoo and conditioner. So this is like the treat of all treats for me. It really is, whoa, okay. Um, all right, let's do 2018. So here I got a, another travel atomizer. This one is, these are so heavy. This is Secrets of Love Collection. Let me turn the card over. Um, Delice is an enchanting woody oriental. This is fabulous. I've already smelled it. It's so good. Okay, and so it came with that. And then it came with like a little wallet that has the Mika Left symbol on it. So cool. Okay. Then in 2019, we get um, Desire Toxic. It's in this bright blue bottle. Let me spray this. This is one of the men's targeted fragrances. <laughs> that is so good. I'm telling you, I have not smelled a bad fragrance and these go all the way back to 1996. Like there's no other designer, I don't think, except maybe be sure it off, that I could do this with that I would be like, oh, just having a cow over. Okay, and then in 2021, we get the Eden Falls. This is their newest release. It is a beautiful men's targeted fragrance. I will be sharing some more info on each of these. I mean, really, I could do a single fragrance review on, what is this, 27 fragrances? And in the very center of the M. Mikalef Art and Perfume is the 25th anniversary fragrance, a full bottle, as well as um, a book, like a little notebook, and then, are these stickers? That's so cute. Proudly made in grass. And I am just, dying over my new found best friend, Martine Mikolev. Okay, so anyway, let's get to the giveaway here. The giveaway is 2012. If you can guess what the giveaway is, drop it in the comment section below. Just drop it in the comment section below. Okay, so I'm giving away, whoo, it's getting hot in here. I'm giving away probably my favorite Mikolev. So far, now I haven't played with many, very many of these others, but because I already have a full bottle of this, I want to gift someone else a bottle of Ylang and Gold. Isn't it gorgeous? It's so beautiful, but just the sparkle, the shine, it's a real work of art. It's got gold flecks in it. It's just fabulous. It has the gold flecks in it. It's beautiful. This is a 30 mil of Ylang and Gold or one fluid ounce. This is a gorgeous fragrance. <sighs> I can't believe that I'm giving this away, but I'm giving it away. I just I can't justify having a full bottle myself and not giving one to you guys. This is probably the like ultimate giveaway ever. Um, so Ylang and Gold. I have not opened this. I haven't sprayed it. This is a 2012 um, release from Martine Mikalef. So I'm doing this as my giveaway. I hope that that wasn't too like exhausting, but then I feel like some of you guys are gonna be like, why didn't you give us more on each one? Because this is the longest video ever. <laughs> um, Ylang and Gold, in order to 
get entered in this the full rules will be in the bottom of the or in the description box but in order to enter this you must be a subscriber you must like this video and you must also comment hashtag make a left that's m-i-c-a-l-l-e-f so two l's one f um hashtag make a left in the comments below this is part of my 12 days of Christmas giveaways, and I want you guys to get entered in as many of these as you can. So number one, enter here. You must be a subscriber because this is to give back to my subscribers. Number two, you can also get a second entry on each of the 12 days of Christmas by entering them over on my Instagram. There you have to be a follower and then like the post and hashtag makeleaf over there as well. All this will be posted below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been honestly monumental. I feel like that's really silly and very first world, but this is one of the greatest gifts that I have ever received from myself. <laughs> ah, that's so weird. Um, but I, this is what I chose to spend my birthday money on and I got a really good value. So if you have the opportunity and if you are a fragrance lover as I am, please go pick this up on the Make a Left website. Again, they are not sponsoring this video. They did not send me anything for free. I do not get kickbacks if you buy it or don't buy it. I just want to share with you guys things that I love so that you can love them too. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Smell you later.